I'm Alex Mahadevan with The Observer, back with another edition of FYI Friday, where I bring you the most read and most interesting articles, videos, and web content of the week from Sarasota, Longboat Key, and East County. Our top web story is about the beautiful Siesta Key Public Beach. This week, we got an update on the $21.5 million beach project, including a sneak peek at the new East Concessions Building. Exciting stuff. And new business lights up on Longboat Key. Giacomo Cigar Bar, Jay McLaughlin, and Amore by Andrea are slated to open this fall, just in time for the influx of snowbirds. In real estate news, a Daytona Beach company bets big on the future of downtown Sarasota. Consolidated Tomoka Company bought the Whole Foods building for $19 million this week. And what would a week be without news about the new mall? A 1,700 square foot playground has East County families ecstatic but most of the chatter on social media this week was about traffic. CM Connolly said, 100,000 shoppers and 1,400 parking spaces equals priceless. Hope there are bathrooms. While Faye Baxter said she plans to stay home and shop at Sarasota Square Mall. The Sarasota GOP continues to attract Republican heavyweights to the area. This week, the organization announced events featuring Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal and Texas Governor Rick Perry. In our uplifting news of the week, we bring you Team Tony. A team of 75 cyclists bike 220 miles for a cancer fundraiser. For our video rundown this week, we talked to downtown merchants about plans for another farmer's market day, learned about the historic downtown village, and met Elvis. Sort of. Find it all on youtube.com slash observer group. The Sarasota Farmer's Market hopes to grow into Wednesdays. So this was a, uh, this is a good time to start it, especially, you know, with a new university mall coming in and the downtown needing, needing some foot traffic. I think, uh, you know, something midweek is going to be pretty good. Have you heard of the quaint historic downtown village? Well, now you have. Um, in April of 2009, I was driving by an old bungalow that was falling apart and had a vision and said, oh, I wonder if I can make that a little breakfast house. And um, my daughter, I was taking her to school and she's like, Mom, you know nothing about the restaurant business. What are you thinking? I think it'll work. And finally, meet Jim Elvis Reese. He went from schoolhouse rock to jailhouse rock after spending 30 years as a PE teacher. I always loved music, but I've loved Elvis uh, music since I first heard it. I thought he was probably uh, the most exciting sound I'd ever heard. Well, that's it for FYI Friday. For more community and breaking news, go online to yourobserver.com daily and pick up a copy of the Longboat in East County Observer Wednesday and the Sarasota Observer and Pelican Press Thursday. And for more fresh local content, go to the Observer YouTube page and press subscribe. You, your neighbors, your neighborhood.